Attention all my big, fat, fabulous life fans and or viewers. Because a lot of us are not particularly fans of Whitney. But in however, we like her daddy. This season, we are going to be seeing Glenn reunite and meet his daughter that he allegedly has never met. And allegedly, Whitney and Hunter just found out about her. Allegedly. It's all supposed to end in a big, happily ever after. But those of us who have been watching Whitney on this show and on her social media for, what, mm, 10 years now? I think we can gather that Whitney is not, is not happy about this situation. We already know. Twitney thinks she is the queen of TV and the queen of her family. We already know that. Actions speak very loud, especially when it comes to Whitney Thor. Y'all ready for the real tea? Woo way, y'all. Mm-mm, buckle up, buttercups. Now, Whitney also gained a niece, okay? And her niece just posted, alleged niece. Stay tuned. I'll tell you why I said alleged. Now that the news has dropped, I can finally share a part of our lives that we've been waiting to share for a long time. If you know my family, you know it's no secret my mother was adopted when she was three months old. This has never been a secret for our family or anyone around us. My grandparents gave my mother a beautiful life, and that's more than we could ever ask for. But there's never enough room for more family to have and to love unconditionally. Unfortunately, my senior year of high school, we found her biological mother, but she had already passed before we could meet her. But my mother did gain two wonderful sisters from her mother's side that she has contact with almost daily. Back in October, my brother Cody put his DNA out on Ancestry. Stay tuned for the shameless plug of Ancestry that I find mighty ironic. Just stay tuned for this. And we got a hit back from a family member. Well, it must be nice that y'all are paying money because I paid money for Ancestry and they didn't give no hits back. We had to put in all the info for them. I mean, do I need to put out that video? But anyway, these people will shameless plug any kind of company that backs them. I'm wondering if Ancestry has connections with my big, fat, fabulous life. Oh, stay tuned because Whitney also plugged them. And we got a hit back from a family member that we knew had to be on her biological father's side. That's when we found my mother's biological dad, my granddaddy. Oh, oh so it's that easy to find out who your daddy is or who your mama is. You just go to Ancestry and submit your DNA. Lies. Pure lies. Mm -mm. Y'all, because people lie to you, don't make it the fact, okay, that Ancestry is charging people to literally tell them who their relatives are. Like I said, I'm out of a hundred something dollars because I spent, wasted my money on Ancestry DNA because my friend doesn't know who her biological daddy is, okay? Whenever she sent off her DNA, child, they ask her to fill out her parents' info. Now, if you're submitting DNA because you want to get other, you know, potential relatives, the hits for, you know, because that's how they advertise it. That's how these celebrities will push this company. That is a scam, in my opinion. In my opinion. And ain't it funny that Ancestry was founded by a bunch of Mormons in Utah. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? But anyway, she goes on to say, We realized my mom's sister has a reality show on TLC called My Big Fat Fabulous Life. At <laughs> Imagine your surprise when you find out your aunt is Whitney Thor. I'm sorry, girl. Bless your heart. I'm sorry. 
By the way, spoiler alert, these people are from Alabama. Child, I'm from Mississippi. If you didn't know, that's next door to Alabama. <laughs> oh, yes. As our lives have been totally different since the day we met them, it's been so wonderful to add more family, and I'm so very thankful we have blended our family so well. It's truly like we have known each other our whole lives, and I still, and I still can't spill most of it since everything hasn't aired. I just couldn't wait to share the new part of our lives with y'all. Interesting, you shared it the day after the premiere, while the ratings are still being calculated. <laughs> but I mean, keep in mind, these people were paid to be on this widely televised, highly publicized TV show. So with that said, of course, they're going to plug the TV show and tell you to go watch it and all the things. Nah! Now, are you gathered round? Have you got your snacks and your drinks and all your things ready to kiki and get real about this quote-unquote reality show? Okay, let's chit-chat. I know a lot of you are just as confused, if not even more confused as I am. But look, this is what we know. This is from Angie's very public Facebook. If you zoom into the reflection in her sunglasses, you can see a camera crew. First off, I want to say the girl is looking young and fabulous. For her to be a grandma? Excuse me? <laughs> no wonder why Whitney is mad. Oh, yeah, Whitney is mad. Child, there's a lot that we don't know because naturally Whitney ain't going to want you to know all the realness that's going on. But look at here. Look, this is what I find interesting about this whole story, okay? This lady, see the lady on the left with the blonde hair? Well, both these ladies. Glenn Thor's sisters. Yeah. The one with the blonde hair is battling cancer right now. Bless her heart. But guess what? Guess what? Glenn's sister, Whitney's aunt, adopted Angie, Glenn's daughter, and raised her. Yeah. So, and you see, it's been public. Angie Post on there, I do so love this woman, my aunt slash mom. Now, you expect me to believe Whitney, Babs, Glenn, Hunter, nobody in the family knew anything about Angie. You want me to believe that knowing that I just seen Whitney Babs and all of Glenn's family is friends with his sisters on social media and follow her. The woman adopted and had his daughter living with her. You, oh yeah, and by the way, she lives around them in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So you expect me to believe they just found out about Angie? <laughs> Lord have mercy. I am not believing the BS. I really ain't. But these made up storylines, this made up drama concocted because these people are, they just don't have no storylines. I don't know. But that's what I see. Is Whitney ain't got no relevance in life. She has nothing going on. I'm serious. She don't. What does she got going on? She sits in her house. She's lazy. She don't do nothing. She don't do nothing. She has no life. We see it all. No life. No interest whatsoever. So, I mean, literally, that, that's what happens. That's what happens in behind the scenes with Sister Wives. These reality shows that are on TLC. Because I've noticed it's only on TLC. You could go watch reality shows on the Discovery Channel. You can watch reality shows on Nat Geo. Those reality shows are reality. They are so far from what this type of trash is that's pushed as reality. It's unreal. This is like some scripted sitcom nonsense. That ain't... Why are y'all so pushed and pressured to put out this storyline. This is a bold-faced lie. And I'm calling it out as a lie. The blonde, 
Angie, Angie, you live with your daddy's sister. Okay, you was adopted by your aunt. You expect us to believe you? I don't believe none of that. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't. It just, uh-uh. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Okay, here's the factual tea that we have got here. The hot, hot, hot tea. She was put up for adoption, Angie was, because her biological mother could not afford her. She was living with Glenn's sister. Angie's mom soon died after she was adopted. Her adoptive parents were amazing. Glenn's wife, Babs, God rest her soul, wouldn't let him make contact. Now, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. This whole made up, we're just now finding out that Glenn Thor is my granddaddy and Whitney Thor is my aunt. We're just finding this out. Knowing your grandmama. What? Your grandmama is Glenn's sister. Girl, I am so confused right now. The girl that made the post. The girl that made the post is Whitney's niece, Angie's daughter. She just made this post. If you know my family, you know it's no secret. My mother was adopted. She was three months old. This has never been a secret for our family or anyone around us. My grandparents, which was Glenn's sister, gave my mother a beautiful life. What? But you just found out on Ancestry? What? Hold on. Wait, there's more. I told you I was going to show you what Whitney's recently posted about Ancestry. Whitney had the nerve to respond. It said, also, do Babs know about your sister all these years was something that your dad just found out about? Mom knew that there was a child in existence. Which is all my dad knew as well. We found out about it through and she tagged Ancestry. Now, now that you know that Angie, Whitney's alleged half-sister that just allegedly just dropped out of thin air. Now that you know she actually lived with Glenn Thor's sister who lived down the road from them in North Carolina. What do y'all think now about that real tea? <laughs> Woo, we sip that tea and meet me down in the comments below. Remember, sharing is caring, so don't forget to like and share this video. I think Glenn is just victim of Whitney's uh, self-righteousness and her self-entitlement. Whitney's the one who put herself out there under a fat girl dancing video. Whitney's the one that wanted to be recognized as a fat girl dancing or she wouldn't have done that point blank period You're not gonna put out a video of you shaking your rear and title it fat girl dancing If you didn't want the focus to be on your weight, okay? That garnered her a whole TV show called My Big Fat Fabulous Life. And then she had to go and scrape for storylines. Because in my opinion, the girl ain't never been popular nor talked about. So now she wants to be. Okay? So now we talking about her and she don't like it. Because every time somebody brings up every single fact that she puts out there as a fact, she will go completely off. I'm talking go off and then be like, why is your focus on my weight? Uh, because you put that focus out there, dum dum pop. I mean, at this point, these people, these reality TV stars that these networks pick out and put out there as entertainers, yeah, yeah, I got some thoughts and opinions, some strong thoughts and opinions on, okay? How about these networks and these TV shows and productions, how about they, uh, have a meeting, get together, and get somebody in the creative department who knows how to put together a reality show based on people's reality. Why you got to make up stuff that ain't even believable that we can find out? Jeez, oh, how embarrassing. But anyway, My Big Fat Fabulous Life airs exclusively on TLC on Tuesdays. And nope, I don't watch. I just follow this show and the fans' reactions and comments and thoughts about this show because that is more entertaining than the entire show. I can assure you that. And if you're the same way, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Even if you're not and you just want the real tea, 
go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, click the bell to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Meet me down in the comments below. I love you for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.